Let's go buy another day. Hey guys, so in one of my last videos I said that I had written a fan fiction of Seal and Sebastian. Um, that was in my... what video was that in? It was my going through my notes video. Um, so I've decided to make a video um, where I basically just read it out. I just read it and be warned it's weird and gross and it's probably really shit. Um, so just bear with me. Oh, I'm so embarrassed to read this. Okay. So it is. I would again see or laugh with that humour, but with thick satisfaction. The Monopoly board was centred on the small game table between Sebastian and Ciel. Sebastian's side having absolutely no money. I guess they play Monopoly, not chess. Congratulations, Botchan. Sebastian clapped lightly for his master. For the third time in a row, you win again. But the time for games is over, and you need to start your studies. Just one more game, Sebastian, Ciel said, and began to organise the pieces on the board. I'm afraid not, Botchan. Your tutor will be here shortly. I shall prepare some tea upon Mr. Parley's arrival. Sebastian stood in the utmost professional manner and left Ciel to himself in the office. Tch, Ciel complained, and rolled the dice. He moved his character five places and then took a turn for Sebastian. Stupid butler, thinking he can tell me what to do. How ridiculous. But as Ciel muttered about his hatred for the butler, he couldn't help but feel something warm inside of him. Something that Ciel didn't like to admit was there, and he couldn't quite place it, but he knew the feeling disgusted him. In a matter of moments. <laughs> anyway, Sebastian came back in wheeling a silver tray, atop of which rested a warm cup of tea and a few chocolate dipped biscuits. Is there anything you wanted before I see to the door, Bottom? No, just leave, Ciel snapped. Sebastian leaned slightly and placed his hands to his chest. Yes, my daughter. And he began to walk out. Sebastian, Seal called, not taking his eyes off the game he was playing. How old are you? Sebastian seemed a little taken aback by the question. My lord, you do not wish to know. This is my manner and I decide what I know and what I shouldn't. Answer the question. I am 1065 years old. I just made that up. Seal did not show the slightest interest in this number. Take a seat. But my lord, I must get I must be getting to my duties. Sebastian, Seal ordered. Sebastian walked over and sat across from his master. Sebastian, Seal sighed. I need some advice on sex. <laughs> if Sebastian were drinking, he would have surely spread it out and ruined the game of Monopoly, which Sebastian wouldn't mind. The little brat had played over forty games with Sebastian this week. Ciel continued, Lizzie has brought up the subject with me. We are both coming of age soon and it will be time to have our child. As we are both 17 already, I need advice. Ciel put down his game pieces and leaned back in his chair, crossing his arms. So teach me how to kiss, for first of all. Sebastian sighed. Certainly. I shall fetch Mayrin as the only female currently in the household to teach you how to kiss with her. And I need to clean the nosebleed from the Persian carpets. I don't think so. Just come over here and practice on me. And you're sure about that, Botcha? Just begin already. Sebastian paused and then he stood. He walked over to where Seal sat and had to crouch down just to be at his height. Sebastian chuckled slightly at how short his young master was. Something amusing you? Seal snapped. Of course not, Sebastian replied. To begin the lesson, you must first trust the person of whom you will be kissing and it will come very easily what needs to come. Sebastian took off the glove from his right hand and very softly held Ciel's chin. Do you trust me, Botcha? I don't care, just let's get this over with. As you wish. Sebastian held Ciel's face and wondered how he had ended up contracted to a young boy who needed lessons on how to kiss. He was a demon. He should, he should be out eating souls. But in any case, he was glad that if he had to be kissing anyone, it was Ciel. Sebastian leaned in very slowly and pulled Ciel in until their lips very softly touched each other. For a moment they stayed like this, Sebastian trying desperately to keep control. He wanted desperately to devour the soul of his master, or was the intense feeling something else? Ciel talked while their mouths touched and opened his eyes. His words came out muffled from the kiss. What now? <laughs> he asked awkwardly. Sebastian cleared his throat, then crossed closed his eyes. He parted his lips against Seal's very slowly, feeling the warm human breath on his own. 
he slid his tongue into the young master's mouth and tasted the sweetness of the human. Xiao let out a slight moan, but Sebastian could not tell if it was from pleasure or awkwardness. Sebastian could feel his inner demon begin, um, ripping through his ripping through the perfectly designed layers of a human facade, screaming and begging for more. And it was boiling hot, it was a blaze of red behind Sebastian's eyelids, it was scratching the surface of inside him, and then it took control of him, as Sebastian lost himself to his inner animal. His hand gripped CL's throat and he lifted him that way, onto the game's table, throwing away the stupid Monopoly game. Sebastian slammed Seal down onto the table so hard that one of the table legs collapsed. Sebast! Seal tried to order, but he was choking. Sebastian's eyes turned a bloody red and the room began to be filled um, with, a mi with a misty black haze, the mist of a demon's true form. He climbed on top of Seal and opened, opened his mouth, looking into the terrified eyes of his young master. And as he bent down to take the soul from the body, Seal cried, Please. The demon inside of Sebastian stirred and then waited. Sebastian, please don't do this. I order you to keep me alive. But the demon was too strong, and Sebastian didn't get a say in what was to happen. But just as he was about to consume the young master, Sebastian's hand around Ciel's neck loosened. He began desperately kissing Ciel and ripping off his prestigious clothes, desperate and needy. And then it says, yeah, I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> that was when I stopped, because this was like at 3am or something, and I was writing it. Yeah, so that's where it stops. Um, if you guys like that, give it a like. Remember to like and subscribe for a new video every four days. Okay, bye!